What kind of competitive analysis should we be doing when we're building our brand? Well, there's obviously a lot you can do, and if it all depends on the, the resources and the time. Um, I, I'm a huge proponent in kind of scrappy guerrilla um, competitive analysis. I think the most obvious and easy competitive analysis that we have in front of us, most people don't do. Um, and that's actually spending an hour or two combing through your competitors' websites, seeing how do they present their brands? Who do I think they're going after as their target audience? What is the tone of their copy and their personality? What are the main benefit hooks that they are touting? And by doing this, you know, and you don't have to look at you know 19 different competitors, but try to pick the top three or five and look at them and say, you know, what are they out in the market saying and doing and looking like? And once you know that, you can actually figure out maybe where your brand can play and where it can fit, again, in those mental file drawers. So if you, if you look at your competitors and you say, wow, they're all talking about this, this, and this, but nobody's talking about this over here. So maybe that's an opportunity for me, and I can be the one in this field that's actually talking about this benefit. Um, and it's just, it just amazes me how so many companies are, some of them are willing to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on primary research, which is great. There's definitely a place for focus groups and, and analytics and, and data collection, but they haven't done the basic, let me just get someone to spend two or three hours on the competitor site, downloading all their free downloads, maybe signing up for their email list, and just see what they're doing and see how they're positioning themselves.